All right, so on this video, we're talking about SOLIDWORKS electrical schematics. So that's the product we're talking about. Uh, we're dealing with multi-wires, doing expanding and compressing of those multi-wires. I'm Michael Nolte. I'm a senior tech support engineer here with Go Engineer. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, different ways of expanding and compressing wires. All right, so here we are in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. I've got a project area open with a couple of pages. Uh, we're gonna do two examples here, one with uh, the draw multiple wires for something where we're dealing with like uh, uh, power wires or three phase wires, that type of thing. Uh, and then we'll do another page uh, with the, uh, the single wire stuff. So we'll get uh, into that here next. Uh, but this is kind of the scenario that you might need to expand or, or in this case, we're gonna do a compress here first uh, where we can actually go through and, and drop something um, in the way of some future lines that are going to run. So if we actually try to draw this, you'll see that that fuse gets in the way. Uh, so we're going to grab the uh, draw multiple wires, just like you normally would. Turn on what uh, wires you're wanting to draw. So we're going to do all of them. I'm going to start at the, the first point at the upper portion. And again, if I start drawing this, you see how that fuse gets in the way there. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll go and do non-ortho. Uh, by turning on this check mark, or also can hit the F8 key there. So the first click is the upper portion. And kind of the way I describe this, or the rhythm to get it uh, into your memory, is top, bottom, top, bottom for each of these um, uh, waypoints or, or different locations of where we're going. So there's the top one already uh, attached. I'm going to do bottom. Uh, and then I'm going to go and come out uh, horizontal from the top one. So I'm looking at the blue. And I, you always want to come out perfectly straight from a symbol, at least to start with. You don't really want to make a bend initially, uh, just so that the software sees that it connects cleanly. Uh, so I do a click at the top, and I'm going to go and do bottom. So I'm horizontal to my green line there at the bottom, so top, bottom. Uh, and then I decide kind of where I want these wires to go. So maybe I want them to kind of squish down uh, and then be able to squeak by here. So I'm going to do a little bit off-centered here. So I'll go and do top and then bottom and see how it's actually kind of compressing those down. I'm going to get past my other area uh, and I'll kind of line it up uh, so that the blue line is horizontal. Yes, the wires are crossing, but kind of just be aware of that. Uh, and I'll click top and I'll go and come down. I'll do bottom. Uh, and then uh, to kind of wrap this up, I'll go and top and bottom. Uh, and I'll go and finish it into the terminal on the other end there. Uh, when I'm done, I can go and just hit the green check mark there on the left hand side, or I can go and do a right click mouse button, and that gets me my run there. And when we zoom in, and yes, I did make the lines a little bit wider, uh, but they are still discrete wires, so they're still individual wires not touching, not merged into anything. And this is uh, how SOLIDWORKS Electrical needs to operate for the wires to be identified as uh, different from each other. Uh, if this was going to be a cable, uh, I could e go even further. I could uh, grab my draw, go and grab my ellipse. Uh, I'm gonna go and turn off my uh, grid and ortho. Uh, and I'll go and just draw a quick little ellipse here just to kind of symbolize that this might be a cable. So this is just real quick, kind of a, a rudimentary. And you could certainly create a symbol uh, of this type of thing uh, where that kind of gives you an indicator that it's actually inside of cable. Uh, or if you wanted to go further with it, and I'm probably not going to be able to draw this real straight because I've got my ortho turned off. Let's go and get that turned on. And I'll go and do another line here as well. And again, this is just kind of roughing it out. I, if I was doing this um, in a production drawing, I would probably take the time to kind of make sure that that got dialed in. I might even get this moved up uh, and then maybe do some, uh, maybe could even turn on my um, object snap there as well too. So very easily I could draw what would look like a cable and get all those compressed in inside there. So that's the, um, the compressing. Uh, let's go and look at uh, expanding here next. All right, so here we go into expanding multiple wires. I'm going to still grab the draw uh, multiple wires button there, get the wires I wanting to draw turned on, go and do my first click uh, for the top. Okay, 
uh, I want to turn on the draw non-ortho. Notice that when you do that, it actually toggles your ortho button off. So I turn on non-ortho, the ortho in the lower right there turns off. So I've got my top button. Um, go and click my bottom there. And again, I still want to come out horizontally just for a little bit. Okay, just to make sure I get that good connection to the symbol, top and bottom. And now I'll go and start expanding it out. And all depending on how steep you want these depends on how close you put it to the last connection. So again, top, bottom. Go and come across, get my horizontal in there uh, for the blue line, top, and then bottom. And once again, I'll kind of give myself a little bit of space to do a horizontal run. So top, bottom. Oh, I'll go and hit the undo once there. So that gets me back to where I can do top and then bottom. Okay. And then I can hit the green check mark, or once again, I can do a right mouse button, right mouse button to drop out of the command. And I've got my wires expanded. So very easily now I can go through, insert a symbol, drop it in the middle of the run, if that's where it seems that it fits the best for the project. Uh, and then I can come back and I can connect it into wherever I happen to be needing to connect that to. Okay. Very easy way to get the the expanding of uh, the multi-wires there. Okay, so we're gonna go and switch pages now, and we're gonna go and take a look at drawing multiple single wires here next. All right, here we are on a, another page. Uh, we're gonna get a copy of this P1 connector there. This was created with the insert connector. If you haven't used that before, definitely check out that command. Um, I'm just gonna do a drag and then hold the control down to, to get a copy of this uh, connector there over to the other side. I'll go and do a right click, orientate, and then I'll go and do an invert with it here just to get the uh, connection points on the same side. Looks like a uh, horizontal there. I'll move this maybe a little bit farther over using my uh, uh, grid dots there to get the uh, position uh, in the right spot. Uh, and then I'll go and grab my draw single wire. So this is kind of a contradiction. We're actually doing a multiple wires, but we're using the draw single wire command. So most of the time it's just set to a number of one lines. I'm gonna go and change that up to 12. And when you change it to anything other than one, it gives you the ability of setting your spacing. Um, eighth inch, pretty common for a, an inch uh, project and five millimeters for a metric one. So again, for this, I'm gonna go and do a uh, compress. I'll start with that. Uh, I'll do the first click. Notice that if I did the first click there, it's wanting to uh, extend them out. Looks like I need to change my spacing there. So I'll go and cancel out, come back in again. Go and get my spacing set to 0.25. And we'll go and start our drawing. So I'll click for the top there. So that gives me parallel lines, which is not what I'm wanting. Uh, I'll go and do non-ortho. So that gives me my top point that I've already selected. I'll do my bottom. Still want to come out uh, horizontally just a little bit. Top, bottom. And I'll go and start doing my compression. So I'll go and come in to kind of in the middle here. Um, and again, it, it does take a little bit of finesse or, and also counting of dots sometimes to get the spacing exactly right if you're wanting it to be perfectly in the center. This gets a little bit harder in getting the horizontal, but what I use is I use the, uh, the dots uh, of the grid to align and also this horizontal uh, inference line there. So that little dash line uh, that shows up there. So I'm going uh, click again, and I'll go and expand those out, get the bottom one set as horizontal, and then I'll go and finish up with expanding it out. So even though we're using the draw single wire we can uh, command, we can still do multiple wires with it. Top, bottom, and top, bottom, and to end it, I'll go and do the right mouse button, right mouse button again. So very easily I can get those two connected uh, and yet all the wires are still individual wires there. Okay, let's move on from that portion. Let's go and do uh, something down here. Suppose you wanted to actually expand out uh, an area or a region of this so that you had the ability of connecting to it. Um, I'm going to go and get rid of a few wires here. So I'm just going to go in through and delete these. Okay. 
And let's get rid of those two as well. All right, so I'm only doing four wires at the time here. Okay. And I'll go and grab draw single again. I'm going to go and switch that to four. Go and change my spacing instead of uh, quarter. I'll go and change that down to eighth because that's what the spacing of this DIN connector is, D9. And I'll go and again do top and bottom. Oh, sorry, top, it gets me my start point. We'll go and get the draw non-ortho turned on. Okay, now I'll go and do my bottom. Okay, so I'll get my start there. Uh, I'll go and do top and bottom for a horizontal section there. Uh, but now I'll go and expand it out here a little bit. So I'll go and go top, and I'm gonna do perfectly horizontal there uh, for my bottom. Okay, and I'll go and come across the page a little bit. I'll go and get some horizontal going on. Top, bottom, horizontal again. And I'll go and kind of get this lined up with that pin one. Top, bottom, and top and bottom. And I'll do a right click, right click, and there we go. So I've got my wires expanded out. I needed this one just for a reference, just to kind of keep that as horizontal. And then I got the top three there. And then from there, I can go and go switch back to a regular mode there. And I can draw whatever I need, okay? And get the additional lines going if I wanted to. Oh, I missed the line on that one. Let's do a little bit of cleanup here. So let's get that there. And let's go and get this one moved up to here. Uh, and then if I did want to go one step further, I could go insert symbol, other symbols, come down to my wire systems, grab my bump symbol, and I could go and drop that in. Let's go and get the orientation right. And let's go and do one more of those as well here too for the other wire. There we go. And there we have it. We have expanding and compressing wires for single and also for multiple wires. I uh, hope you got something out of this video and uh, look forward to uh, future videos in SolidWorks Electrical Schematics. And thanks for watching my video and hope you have a great rest of your day.